Hi and welcome to our lesson on converting improper fractions to mixed fractions. Here is the fraction 6 out of 3. It is improper because the numerator, 6, is bigger than the denominator, 3. The line means divided by. So we have 6 divided by 3. We can see that there are two counters in each of the three groups. So 6 out of 3 is the same value as the number 2. Looking at 7 out of 3, it is also improper because the numerator, 7, is larger than the denominator, 3. We can visualise the 7 thirds. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 thirds. In total, we have 2 wholes and 1 out of 3. So 7 thirds is the same as 2 and 1 third. This is a mixed number. We will look at the process for converting 7 thirds into a mixed number again. We ask ourselves, how many times does 3 go into 7? 3 times 2 equals 6, so it goes in twice. Our denominator is 3, so we will also have our answer in thirds. How much more do we need to add to 6 to make 7? 6 plus 1 equals 7. So we have one more third. A whole number with a fraction is known as a mixed fraction. Let's convert five halves into a mixed fraction. We ask how many times does two go into five? Two twos are four, so it goes in twice. Our answer is also in halves. What do we add to 4 to make 5? 4 plus 1 more is 5. So we have one more half. 5 out of 2 is the same as 2 and a half. Here we have 14 out of 3. How many times does 3 go into 14? 3 times 4 equals 12. So we have 4. Our answer is in thirds. What do we need to add to 12 to make 14? We add 2. 14 out of 3 equals 4 and 2 thirds. 18 out of 5. How many times does 5 go into 18? 5 times 3 equals 15. The denominator will be 5. What do we add to 15 to make 18? We add 3. We have 3 and 3 fifths. Finally, we have 30 out of 3. How many times does 3 go into 30? 3 times 10 equals 30. And because it goes into 30 exactly 10 times, our answer is just 10. Here are some questions for you to try. Write these in proper fractions as mixed fractions. Pause the video and have a go. Question 1 2 goes into 7 3 times. We add 1 to 6 to make 7. 
7 halves equals 3 and 1 half. Question 2. Three goes into sixteen five times. We add one more to fifteen to get sixteen. Sixteen thirds equals five and one third. Question three. Four goes into twenty three five times. We have three more to make 23. 23 quarters equals five and three quarters. Question four. Six goes into 36 exactly six times. So our answer is just six. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.